Hi again, Fed Dragons here. In this video, I'll install the first virtual machine. In order to install virtual machine, we must upload an installation ISO file. To do this, I'll select Configuration tab, Storage option. Since I'm sure that I have one more hard disk uh, which can be found here, I'll try to mount it by clicking Add Storage. I leave default selection disk LAN, click next. And here is my uh, hard disk, hard disk that I want to mount. I'll select it and click next. Uh, here I should choose file system version since I don't plan to use earlier versions of ESX. I'll choose uh, VMFS version 5 and click next. The review page I'll click next. Enter data store name, let's say large 4. Next. Maximum available space. Next. Review again. Finish. It will take a while for hard disk to be formatted, so we must wait. It will take about 30 seconds, but I'll pause the video. And I'll be back, of course, when format is finished. After format is finished, the new storage named uh, Large4 is now available among other storages. I'll right-click it and select Browse Data Store option. This will open Data Store Browser window. As you can see, storage is empty, of course. It's brand new storage. I'll create new folder by clicking this toolbar icon and I'll name new folder ISOs since my plan is to uh, upload ISO images in this folder and to upload ISO image I'll click this toolbar option with up arrow and select upload file option I'll navigate to ISO image on my local computer and I get warning that if there is a file with the same name on the server, it will be overwritten. Since I'm sure that I don't have such file, actually I don't have any file, I'll click yes. And upload starts. Upload uh, will take maybe a few hours if you are uploading to remote location. So, at this point, you should be patient. Upload is finally finished, so I can continue with creating my virtual machine. Actually, I can start with creating my virtual machine. I have a few options to, do, to initiate the procedure. First option is to select File from Main Menu, New Virtual Machine. Second option is to select this icon from Toolbar. Third option is to right-click host and select new virtual machine from context menu. Either way you'll get the same result, create new virtual machine wizard. I'll select custom settings, next. I'll name virtual machine testing for our purposes, next. I'll select storage where I want to put a new virtual disk, next. Uh, virtual machine version, I leave at 8. Next. Uh, since I want to install Windows Server 2012, I leave Windows selected and I'll find Microsoft Windows Server 2012 in this drop down list. This option is available only in vSphere 5.1 and probably newer versions. If you have uh, vSphere 5, you won't have this option available. I'll click next to assign some resources, virtual sockets, one, course, course per socket, let's say four, next, four gigs of RAM, it's okay, next, uh, network connections, I leave at default values with one nick, click next, uh, these settings I definitely leave at default values, Next, create new virtual disk. Next, virtual disk capacity. I'll 
make 100 gigs virtual disk. If you are using virtual machine in production, you should, you must select TIG provision. Actually, you should select TIG provision. And for testing purposes, TIN provision is good also. I'll select TIG provision, click next. I leave it at default, next and at review page I'll click finished and virtual machine is creating uh, just few seconds virtual machine is created I have virtual machine and next step is to install OS first I should mount uh, ISO image uh, I've uploaded so I'll right click virtual machine select edit settings CD DVD drive and I'll select data store ISO file option click browse and navigate to ISO I've uploaded and I also check this checkbox connect at power on and click OK what cannot complete operation due to concurrent modification by another operation I'll try again edit settings CD DVD drive data store ISO browse connect at power on OK now it's ok, uh, ISO image is mounted and now I can start remote console, console window and power on the virtual machine. In few seconds uh, Windows setup should start and here it is. I won't guide you through installation of Windows Server 2012 so I'll pause video at this moment and I'll be back when the operating system is installed. As you can see the Windows Server is installed. I'll uh, set up administrator's password. And I'll log in, but uh, instead of pressing Ctrl or Delete on the keyboard, I'll select VM from uh, Console menu, Guest, Send Ctrl or Delete, and I'll log in with my new credentials. And this is my brand new Windows Server 2012 up and running. As you can see, actually I'm not sure that you can see, but I'll show you in a few seconds. Once uh, I've clicked in, in uh, console window area, my mouse gets locked in this area. So, in order to release the mouse, I must uh, press Ctrl Alt on the keyboard. Uh, to resolve this uh, mouse locking issue and uh, dozens of other issues, you should install uh, VMware tools also. So my next step will be to install VMware tools. I, I'll show you how you can do this. I'll select VM from menu, guest, install upgrade VMware tools. I'll click OK. and wait few seconds run setup installation procedure of VMware tools is really simple you just need to click next few times wait a while and restart the server you'll see in a second next next install this is it now we should wait a few seconds and after installation procedure is finished uh, we should restart the server. 
This is all for this video. In the next few videos I will show you how to connect a virtual machine to internet and how to uh, set up the simplest vSphere architecture on just one host. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and see ya.